Hello friends, welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vaishali and today I'll be showing you how to make beetroot tikki. This is a very healthy tikki. You can either shallow fry it or deep fry it. Tikki. Both ways it tastes delicious. Please see the ingredients. One beetroot boiled, two medium sized potatoes boiled, some cilantro or coriander leaves, cumin powder about one tablespoon, salt to taste it's about three teaspoon, two teaspoon of red chili powder, dry mango powder or amchur powder one tablespoon, ginger piece about half inch, one green chili roughly ground, purpose flour or maida about two tablespoon. Let's start with the recipe now. First we need to shred this uh, beetroot, we will use fine side of the grater. Now this beetroot is ready, it will color your hands like anything. If there is any excess water in this beet, you should remove it. In my bit, there is no excess water as such. In the uh, same bowl, we are going to grate these potatoes. Just peel the skin off. Grate with the same holes. You can either mash these potatoes, but I am uh, grating it because I want to get uh, even texture while making these tickets now these potatoes are also grated just mix it now I am going to grate this ginger piece and like I say wash your grater right away now add in other spices this cumin seeds rather cumin seed powder this dry mango powder or amchur powder red chili powder salt i'll keep half teaspoon of salt from this this cilantro or coriander leaves and green chili mix them all together now this mix is ready now start making tickets like this small or big any size you want you can make Uh, now these tickets are ready this mixture has made about 15 tickets now either you can shallow fry it or you can deep fry it I'll show you both ways now these tickets are ready now I'll show you how to prepare them for deep frying I have this all purpose flour I'm going to take this in this small bowl add in some salt Add a little water and just make thick paste. Smooth paste we need. This is to coat the tikkis so that extra oil should not get absorbed in the tikkis while frying. Now this mixture is ready. Take one tikki, dip the tikki in this mixture and just this is dry rice powder and just coat this sticky with this rice powder this is ready for frying you can directly put in the frying pan we'll keep three to four ready for frying and we'll go for frying then 
Now these five tikkis are ready for deep frying. The rest will shallow fry. Now let's go for frying. Now this oil is hot. Now I'll add this stick in this. We should fry the stickies on high temperature as potatoes and beets are cooked. So no need for cooking more. Just uh, make the outer covering brown and the stickies are done. Now these stickies are nicely brown from out. I have this uh, plate with a paper napkin on it. I just remove the stickies from the oil now. All these deep fried tikkis are ready. Now we shall shallow fry the remaining. Now this pan is heating. Now add in some oil. Now we are going to roll these tikkis, this uh, rice flour and just put it on the pan. This is just to get a crunchy outer covering and resist oil from absorb get absorbed in the tikkis. Cover them nicely. Roast the stickies nicely on both the sides. If you need, you can add little oil to this. As the beetroot and uh, potato both are cooked, so we don't need to cook cook them further, but just to get the crunchiness from the outer covering, we should go roast it a little. Now my chickies are ready. I'll take out on the same towel. All these deep fried and shallow fried tikkis are ready now. All these tikkis are ready now. These are deep fried and these are shallow fried. Serve them hot with chutney. You can make either way. Both are soft from inside and crunchy from outside. You can have a look. Even this shallow fried one. These yummy tikkis are ready now. Serve them hot with green chutney or tomato ketchup. This can be a great party snack. Thanks for watching this video. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes. Thank you.